In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a sidebar with some product filters so that when people come to your WooCommerce or your WooZone affiliate site, they can filter your products just by things like size um, or brand, um, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm gonna be doing it on the Kingdom theme, um, but this will work with pretty much any theme you've got, as long as you can add a sidebar, you'll be fine. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. So yeah, as I said, I'm gonna add a sidebar with some product filters to my Kingdom site. I'm gonna be using Boot Boutique, which is a website that I created ooh, quite a while ago now. Uh, there is a video on how I did it on the channel, which I'll put a link to in a card up there. Is it up there? I never remember. <laughs> There's also a link in the description. So if you wanna build your own affiliate site, do check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna add a sidebar. We're gonna then add some widgets. Um, we're gonna use the default WooCommerce widgets that come with it, allow you to filter by price and by attribute and that kind of thing. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a premium plugin that I found, which allows you to create a more advanced filter. I think advanced is the right word. Uh, basically, you get a lot more choice in terms of whether you want tick boxes and, and all that kind of thing. So I'll be showing you that too. So I think that's enough uh, looking at my face. Let's get on the laptop and get this set up. Okay, so I'm over at Boot Boutique, which is an affiliate website that I created in a previous tutorial. Uh, if you've not already seen it and you wanna create a site like this, then do check out the description of this video and you'll find a link to that video. But anyway, as I said, what we're doing today is adding a sidebar and then into that sidebar, we're gonna add some product filters. So here's one of my categories. I've got a number of categories across the top here. They're actually sorted by um, brand, as you can see. And at the moment we don't have any sidebars, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a sidebar down the left-hand side. A sidebar is just some space on your site that allows you to add some widgets. And a widget is, well, it could be anything really. It could be a bit of text, could be an image, could be a product filter. And there's lots of other widgets available too, and we'll have a brief look at them in a moment. So let's add our sidebar. Now this, um, what I'm about to now um, just applies to the Kingdom theme. Uh, so if you're using a different theme, you're gonna need to find out how to add a sidebar uh, for your particular theme. It should be fairly straightforward. Generally, just check out the appearance uh, or the customized area of the theme or the theme settings even. So let's have a look anyway. So this is Kingdom theme, which I know a lot of you are running anyway, so um, you should be fine. So I'm into my dashboard. I'm gonna go down to appearance and then Kingdom theme. And then in here, we've got the sidebars manager and sidebars per section. They're the two areas that we need to take a look at. So I'm gonna go into sidebars manager. Now on this site, this particular site, for some reason, these options don't load first time. I don't know why, maybe it'll happen on your site too. Maybe it won't. If this does happen, it could be because you're running um, some sort of cache plugin, which I am, I've got WP Rocket. So I'm just gonna clear the cache on that and that should fix it. Oh, technology, eh? Never fails. Well, <laughs> anyway, so now it's working and here we go. Here's our sidebars. I've already got a blog sidebar which I created in the earlier tutorial. So let's create a new one. I'm gonna call it uh, shop. Actually, we call it shop sidebar so we know exactly what it is. It's the shop sidebar. So that's it created. Now we need to um, apply it to some areas on the site. So a sidebar can be applied to certain pages or posts or categories or well, wherever you like really. So let's select our shop sidebar. I've gone into sidebars per section, by the way, if you missed that. And then you can decide left or right or top or bottom. Let's go for left. Here we can decide which pages we'd like it to show on. So I need it on the shop page. The next one is the page templates. Um, no, neither of them. Post types. Uh, I want it on the products post type archive. That's basically the shop page, I think. If it doesn't work on this one, it will definitely work on this one. So you want to tick both of those. The taxonomy um, archives, you can then decide whether you want it to show on categories or tags or that kind of thing. I just want it to show on product categories. I don't want it on the um, products themselves. They're fine being uh, you know wide without sidebar. I just want it on the product categories. So that's it. And I think that's all we need to do. If you go in here, you can actually you know choose specific categories if you like or specific tags or you know whatever. You've got loads of options. But that's all we need to do for now. We just need it on the product categories, 
post types, product post type archive and the shop page. So let's save. Ooh, that said it had done it. So if we go to the site now and take a look at one of our shop pages, like this one here, Fly London. We see we've got a bit of space down here now, which is where we can drop our widgets. So let's do that. The first widgets I'm gonna drop are the ones that come with WooCommerce as it kind of comes off the shelf, out of the box. Although obviously it doesn't come out of the box because it's a download. <laughs> but yeah, there's a few uh, widgets that come with WooCommerce. And then I'm gonna show you a premium plugin that I found, which gives you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to you know setting up filters. So into widgets. And then here's our shop sidebar over here. So then we can just simply drag um, stuff over. Just ooh, like that. I've, I'm having, where's it? It's gone over there. Never mind. Yeah, so you just simply drag it over. So let's add this first one actually. This is the active product filters. So it basically just shows um, the visitor what filters they've got active, as it kind of says on the tin. Um, as you can see, we've got loads of different uh, widgets, so you can you can drop whatever you like. The next one I'm going to do is filter products by price. Like that. You've got a rating one there as well. I'm, I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to use that one for now. Um, oh, we can even add a filter by Amazon reviews. That might be better if it's going to work. Add the title. I've not used that one before, so fingers crossed. We'll see if that works. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> um, and then filter products by attribute. So attributes are, they're bought in when you import uh, products from uh, Amazon, if you're using WooZone. If you're just using a standard WooCommerce site and you've added your own products, then you probably add your own attributes. Uh, and attributes are things like color, size, uh, material, you know, I don't know, whatever, it depends on your products. If it's camera, for example, it could be, uh, you know, lens uh, aperture, I, you get the idea. It's gonna depend on the product you've got. Now, one word of warning, when you're downloading attributes with your products from Amazon, you can get quite a lot of attributes and a lot of different terms. And I'll show you this in a second, but it can be a problem. So and I think it's the way that people list their products on Amazon. So, you know, I've got boots on this site and there's a lot of black boots, but there's different shades of black, if that makes sense. I think it'll make more sense if I just show you in a second. But yeah, just be careful with the attributes from Amazon. You can get a lot and they can be a bit messy. I think that's what I'm basically trying to say. But let's try a color one. Let's so filter by color. I'm spelling it the correct way, as you can see. <laughs> uh, there's, there is a U in it. Oh, well, maybe there's not. <laughs> we'll go for both American and UK. The color and color. And you can display it as a list or a drop down. So that's very self-explanatory. A list is just a long list and drop down is, is like this. And then you can have a query and or, or if you have it or, then um, people can only select one. If it's an and, I think it can go with other ones. I always leave it on and. There's some sort of logic thing going on there. Okay, let's have a look at what we've done. So, wow, what we got here? We got our filter by price, which you can do, you know, a little slidey. That's quite nice. We've got our customer reviews. It is working. It is working. So, if I just want the four stars, look. Ah, hey, <laughs> it, 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 it is sort of working. Three star. Oh. Oh, I had high hopes for that. It looked like it was going to work. Okay, so that doesn't work. I don't know why. Um, I will. Uh, I'll raise a ticket with AA team on that and see what's going on. That looked really nice as well. I thought, but you see, I didn't hold my breath now. So while I was in the middle of editing this very video that you're watching, um, I raised a ticket with AA team regarding this filter, this Amazon review filter thing, and that it wasn't working. And within nine minutes, they came back with a fix, which was pretty impressive. So. Yeah, highly recommended AA team support. You know, I may have said some things about them in the past that they're a bit slow or whatever, but they seem to have improved no end uh, and offer an excellent service now. But anyway, yeah, they fixed it. So it was a little setting within um, the customize section. Let me just quickly show you under customize. And you need to make sure that your reviews under shop are set to, or sorry, the startup rating is set to Amazon. Otherwise, um, yeah, that filter thing doesn't work. Once you've done that, 
Uh, let me just quickly show you. It sort of works. Well, not sort of works, it does work. So if I wanted boots that were, you know, let's say four star and up, that's just this one, three star and up. There's those. So yeah, that's working now. So yeah, that's all good. <laughs> I don't need to leave a comment or anything like that. You should be all sorted. So just make sure you check that setting within customize and shop. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so here's our filter by color. And here's what I'm talking about with the Amazon um, attributes and that they can be a little bit messy. So like there's there's different sorts of brown and and stuff. I, it's gonna depend on the products that you um, you import and, and maybe they'll be a mess, maybe they won't. I have noticed though that on these boots, they are a little bit of a mess. But hey ho, what can you do? It should still work if I click black. Uh, well, sort of, that, that's not black, is it? It's again, it's down to the data that you kind of get in from. Um, oh, I guess it's because it's got a black heel, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> so it's down to the data that you get from, let's add another black, from Amazon. Oh, that's looking more black. If I click as many blacks as I can, but yeah. You get the idea, it's sort of working, it's sort of working. So there we go, that is, um, clear my active filters. That's working nicely. So it all works apart from this customer reviews, which is a little bit annoying, but I will look into that. And if I find out anything, I'll do a, a video in the future or I'll, or I'll add a comment below this this video that you're watching right now. So, so maybe check back in the future. So yeah, that's it with the WooCommerce built in off the shelf um, widgets. It works fine, it's not too bad. Um, but if you want something a little bit different, I found a plugin, it's a premium plugin. It's over at Code Canyon. Let me just bring it up for you guys. I'll put a link up on the um, screen, probably, <laughs> and down in the description. It's this one, it's called Woof. Woof, just like the dog. Uh, WooCommerce products filter, and it adds a little bit of extra, oh, excuse my brightness, a little bit of extra functionality. Um, I've already got it installed on Boot Boutique, so let me just quickly show you what it's all about. Oh yeah, I should let you know how much it costs tonight. It's um, 30, 30 bucks. So you're only going to need this if the the WooCommerce ones, you know, don't do the job for you. But let me start by actually um, showing you where the settings are. So I've installed it. You'd install it in the way you'd buy it on on here, and then you download it. You get a zip file, extract that zip file, and then within that zip file, there's another zip file, and then you upload that zip file. <laughs> I've said zip file too many times to your plugins section in here. Plugins, add new. And then up the top there is an upload plugin. I'm sure you've installed a plugin before. And then once you've done that, you go into WooCommerce and settings, and then you've got this extra tab along here called products filter. Now I've already been playing around with it a little bit, as you can see. But basically you start here and you then decide what you want to show in your filter. This works with just kind of one widget, it's all in, in the one widget, so you need to do all of the options here. So Decide whether you want to show your tags, your product categories, your product tags, your product binding, brand, color. These are all the attributes basically down here. So what I'm gonna go for is color and size, which I've already ticked. And there's gonna be a few options you wanna check. The first is over here, whether you want a radio or a checkbox. I'm gonna have a checkbox because that allows people to select more than one. So if they're looking for black, they're gonna to need to select more than one black probably. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what, uh, a good thing to have checkbox and again um for size for size let's go for radio let's let's mix it up a little bit so in the additional options for this particular attribute color you can decide whether you want to show the title which i'm going to go for uh then down here you can actually add a title if you want filter by color uk spelling oh let me just double check that that's it you've got a few other little options if you want um, you can show uh, items in a row. You can um, you can have a toggle button. Let's uh, go for that. Show is closed. This is probably good if there's a long list, which there there is. <laughs> and and yeah, let's have a look what that looks like. So that's the color. Let's check the size. I want to show the label again. I'm gonna put my own little name in. 
filter by size. We'll go for the toggle again, show is closed. Very good. So that's it for now. The next thing I'm going to do is um, just check some of these options. Set filter automatically. I'm going to leave that to no. Um, show count if you want. Shows you how many products are in each particular you know, size or colour. One thing you probably want to do is hide empty terms, especially again if you're running Amazon and you've got lots of different attributes. Some of them may not have products, it can be a bit messy. So I'll leave that to yes or put it to yes if it's not already yes. And and that's it really. The other options are fine. In here you've got a design, so you can um let's go for flat flat. That's the look and feel of the radio. And then you've got some bubbles as well, which you can change. So loading bars, loading balls, loading cubes. Let's go for loading balls. And the rest of the options, I think we can leave alone. So let's save our woof. That's done. Now all we need to do is add the woof widget. So I'm going to go into widgets again, into the sidebar. Let's remove um, the stuff that we've already put on, the WooCommerce stuff. I don't need that. I'm going to leave the filter by price actually because I like that that WooCommerce one. But the rest can can go. And then down the bottom here under W, we've got the woof. And I'm just going to change it to the to filter for the title. And yeah, I think that's about right. Let's go for save. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at our boots. So here is our filter. It's got the little dropper, so we can ping that open. There's um, our colours. And that's working. I don't know where the tick boxes have gone. I thought there would have been a tick box. But that could just be down to this theme not showing it properly. There's our sizes. Uh, and that seems to, you know, be working fine. Um, I guess the tick box is probably gone by the skin. Let's go and just, uh, before I leave you, I'm just going to change the skin, see what if we get. Get that looking a little bit nicer. So back into where am I going? Back into WooCommerce and settings. And products filter design. What oh, we on the flat flap. Let's just try it with none to start with. See what we're at, where we're at, and then we can we can try a different one. I'm just going to leave this page open. Save going back and forth. I'm going to open the site in a new tab and close that code canyon. Let's take a look at my UG. Ugh, ugh. Oh, look at my tick boxes, aren't they looking nice? So that's with no skin at all. Well, that sounds pretty horrific, doesn't it? No skin at all. <laughs> so let's go for black. That will then give me some brown boots. Oh no, we're, we're black today, it's, that's working. But if I want black with a little beige brown, I could tick more than one. Oh yeah, that, that's not good enough beige for me. Anyway, so that's that skin. Let's just try one more for luck design. Uh, what have we got? Something that's minimal, eh? Minimal, minimal blue. I love a bit of minimal blue. Do I? We'll find out. Let's refresh. Oh, look. That is very minimal, and the tick is now blue. So, there we go. Um, I hope that was useful. Um, but yeah, that's it. We're all done. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you got your filters all set up and they're all working and your site's looking really nice. If you got stuck or you got any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. Please leave them below and I'll do my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, then please click the little eagle up there and click the bell to make sure that you get notified when I upload, um, which is twice a week, three times a week, depends how I kind of get on with it. But yeah, at the moment I've been kind of churning videos out. So yeah, do subscribe. And here is another video. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye for now.